Due to a temporary life change, I'm currently living at my mum's place. From the front, this looks no different to any other suburban house, but head through to the backyard and it's clearly a different story. Now the world thinks that all Australians are born surfers. This is Culborough Beach on the south coast of New South Wales and it is here that I plan to test this theory. I've set myself a goal to catch a wave every day for the next month and I haven't surfed in years. I'm more of a skateboarder. I don't even own a surfboard but I did find this foamy in the garage so come with me as I find myself a wave a day. Good morning, it's Wednesday the 6th of December 2017. This is day six of my wave a day project. It's one degree warmer than yesterday, 17 degrees right now, but there's no wind. So that makes all the difference. Still hideously cloudy. One of the givers on my channel, a gentleman by the name of Chris Tierney with a K, Chris with a K, he made mention that using a GoPro in the ocean, if you drop some detergent, some dishwashing detergent onto the lens and then you rinse it off in fresh water, you won't have water droplets landing on the lens and blocking the vision. So I'm trying that today with both my GoPros. Thanks very much, Chris, for that lovely tip. We'll see how it works. Just looking at those waves right there, right there, right there. I was trying to say right now and right there at the same time and I said right there. Those waves, they're looking really sucky. Like it's high tide and there's a sandbar just kind of halfway out and the waves are just like really sucking up. That's well out of my league. But I have noticed a smaller bank on this side which might be more suitable to me. I'm not skilled enough to, to take off on a wave that, that's, that is that steep. As much as I'd love to be on a wave at that steep, I don't think my takeoff is well and truly skilled at all. Well, here we are again. These waves are too large for me. Not only are they sucky, like I was mentioning, but they're also probably another half a foot larger than I'm capable of. A strap came off. Gotta go in. Apologize for technical issues. Gotta check this strap out. Okay, so I think I overreacted. The problem there, I'll just take my bra off. The problem that happened just then was nothing really major. Just a little loop here came out from the plastic. So it came out of that gap there. Not really a huge issue, I'll just slide it back in. Freaked me out though, because on this guy, I don't, I'm not using any um, backdoor floaty, obviously. And um, it sinks. Let's try again. All right, got this fixed. Let's give this a second attempt. Paddle, 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 paddle. I went over the floor, it sucked me back over. <laughs> I'm almost out. Wow. Hey, dolphins. You won't be able to see them, I'll turn around. About 20 meters yonder. Yonder? 20 meters behind me. That was a difficult paddle and it sucked me back down at one point. My arms were like lead. I'm out here, but I'm out, out of my comfort zone. The waves are too large, they're too steep. I think I need to go in and catch some kind of offshoot. I want to make it out to the back each day, but what I do out here, Realistically, it's not suitable for me right now. And I want to address the shark issue. Um, maybe not right now while it's overcast and you can't see anything because that kind of makes you think more about it. But uh, this is Australia and there are sharks. And there are sharks that will eat you. A very, very real threat. And it's one of my major massive, massive fears. And I am right in the dangerous dangerous zone right here. I'm the only surfer out, so what can you do? Like, I don't want to let the fact that there are sharks stop me from living, you know? Like, I mean, okay, if I get attacked, they will do that, but. Uh, so I took two attempts and they were both terrible. And now I'm back in the middle of this white water and I can't paddle back out there. I'm going to catch something in here. Just ride it back in. 
cooked that, didn't I? I didn't even really get up. Well, that's me for the day. Not a very good experience. I think I've worked out what I've done to my toe as well. Yesterday I talked about how I smashed my toe somehow and I didn't even know I did it. I think I'm doing it as I go to stand up and I kind of drag the foot along because, here, I'll, I'll wash it off. I noticed it on one of those last waves where I felt like I was dragging it. Check it out now. Yeah, so it's not feeling great. I'm six days into this project. Hopefully it kind of fixes itself. Come with me tomorrow as we catch a wave a day. Hey, thanks very much for checking out my wave a day mission. If you're new here to my channel, do me a solid and subscribe. And if you want to see my latest non-surfing related vlog, check here. Check out a completely random vlog here. And if you're feeling totally generous and you want to support me on Patreon, here. What's that, man? Ah, oh, the waves are better at that end of the beach. Ah.